Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of April 2021. So, I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Your overall energy is that of the Nine of Swords reversed. Good news, you are finally moving past all of the things that caused you a lot of grief and anxiety. <laughs> You're finally healing from that. Something is happening, it's changing up this month and taking away your anxiety for some reason. It's very hard to go from being up too much in our head and overthinking situations and being anxious about it, nervous about it, worried about it, to going to this energy, that's very positive. It's a very good thing, especially for your overall. That means you're finally releasing the anxiety to that's attached to certain situations that caused you a lot of grief. Now, Aquarians, we've discussed this. You've been through a lot in the last few months. So this could be finally, you know, you're, you're at that stage now where you can finally relax your mind and not overthink things anymore. So <laughs> this could be why beautiful first week we have the magician in the upright position rooted down with the ace of cups. This is beautiful energy. The magician, it's like you come into the beginning of the week like gangbusters, Aquarius. You're very happy to be able to start creating. And it could be because some of the anxiety or the worries have been taken off your plate. Now that could be, you know, family situation, could be work situations, whatever, however it resonates for you, if it does. So the magician is all about being able to manifest the things that we want in life. Some of you are wanting to manifest, you know, a new emotional relationship. Some of you, there's a new person who has arrived on the scene and they're, you know, opening up your heart. For others of you, this could be you in the beginning of self-love, right? So magician is where we're putting our energy and our confidence towards a certain direction. For some of you, it could be about love, definitely with the Ace of Cups there. Could be new beginnings, maybe there's a new love that's arriving on the scene. Others of you, it could be a new pet, a new baby, something that's opening up your heart. Others of you are finally being good to yourself, and this is about self-love. It could be about a new creative beginning, maybe some of you, especially if you work in a creative field, it could be that, you know, you have an opportunity to do something that would be very, very, you know, dear to your heart, an emotional you're manifesting it. So whether it be a career that's going to be dear to your heart or it's going to be a new love interest or it's going to be a new pet or a new baby or whatever the case may be. And like I said, you come into the month very strong. The first week is really good for Aquarius. Second week, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse rooted down by the Eight of Wands in the upright. Well, if you want action and activity, it looks like it's coming, my dear. The Ten of Wands in reverse, this is where we're releasing anything that felt like it was like too much. You know, sometimes the Ten of Wands could be representative of releasing uh, worries, could be also releasing obligations. Sometimes the Ten of Wands is when we're over, like it could be at work where, say, for example, our co-workers or our boss are putting like undue stress on us. They're putting so much on us and it's like, whoa, I need to de delegate. Sometimes this can be family members who are expecting a lot from us because there's stuff going on. There's could be many reasons for the Ten of Wands. It could be you're just overdoing it. Sometimes the Ten of Wands, believe it or not, will come up when we're overdoing it at the gym. Like we're working out too much and our body's like breaking down. It's about, remember, tens are the end of something, right? It's like where you reach the end of a situation. But this could also be the end of worries because it's in reverse now. End of your worries, it could be that... The, the obligations that you had before have been released maybe like say for example if you were looking after your neighbor's pets or their home or something when they were on vacation and now they've returned right because now that's something that you don't have to add in your everyday routine looking after a family member or, or a neighbor's you know pet or whatever it's been released from you it could be that you know you were 
put under undue pressure at work and now maybe they got extra help and you see you see where I'm going with this of course you do you're Aquarians you catch on <laughs> And the Eight of Wands is in the upright position, rooting it down, which means there could be a lot of commotion going on. This is Arrows of Love, find their mark. We do see potential for new romance for Aquarius this month. Um, this could be for some of you, if you just met somebody new, it could be that there's a lot of text messages going back and forth. It could be communication, you know, phone calls, that kind of thing, maybe even arrangements, especially if uh you know your love interest lives out of town maybe there's a travel arrangements being made others of you this could be if you put your resumes out there it could be that you're getting a lot of uh, interest back if you're on the dating sites it, you know you know again where i'm going with this could be a lot of communication a lot of excitement going on if you're looking for excitement week two aquarius things are happening <laughs> In week three, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, rooted down by the Five of Swords in reverse. Well, the Two of Swords in reverse, this is decision made. So it could be that some of you are making a romantic decision, others of you are making a creative decision, or you're making a decision about work, whatever it is, you've got your clarity now because the Two of Swords in the upright points to where we don't know whether to go right or to go left. We feel we don't have enough information to make an informed decision. But when the card is reversed, this is where it points back to the Ace of Swords, where we have our clarity, we have our information, so we know what's happening. We can make an informed decision, and you're going to in week three. And it's rooted down with the Five of Swords reversed, indicating that whatever battle was going on, whether it's an external battle or an internal battle, the battle is over. Good to see, especially when you have the Nine of Swords in reverse as your overall energy. Because you're laying down your anxiety. That's a lot of mental anxiety. It's over. And this is now where... A decision is being made so it could be that the internal battle that was going on inside of you Aquarius is finally coming to an end because decisions are finally being made things are finally moving you know if you've been stagnant this is the month where it looks like things are going to start rolling and start moving and I think you make a decision very quickly in week three Week four, we have the Four of Wands in the upright, rooted down by the devil in reverse. Nice. The Four of Wands is where we have arrived. So for some of you, you've made a decision on a home. You've made a decision on a relationship. See, this is in week three. You're making a decision. And by week four, this is completion. This is we have arrived on something. We have completed something. So it could be Aquarius. Some of you, especially if you've been like maybe renovating a home or something, the renovations could come to an end. And maybe this is the housewarming party. For others of you, if you're building a home, it's over. And and it's, well, it's not over. It's just, just begun. But it's, you know, the, the building process of it is done and this is the celebration others of you could be celebrating moving in together celebrating an engagement a wedding or something like that others of you this is just like a victory because you have finally put all the pieces of the puzzle together Aquarius and you're final it's finally materializing for you remember you come into this month really strong as the magician and it looks like it doesn't take you long to come to a completion because by the end of the month you're there and it's the the devil is here in the reverse position this is capricorn energy the devil in the upright position can point to many fears many obsessions many addictions when it's reversed this is where we're just sticking to our guns this could also represent where the fear has dissipated down doesn't it make sense no more anxiety no more fear coming out of the um conflict with self making a decision right and here's your victory what an incredible reading here this is going to be really really good news for some aquarians out there i hope it resonates for all of you because i know that you're waiting to get things moving and have things uh, turn out the way that you want them to so it could be the month for you aquarius so that is your main reading. I will pull a couple of cards uh, for you from the astrology deck. One will be for uh, love and romance and the other one be for career and finance. So your first card here, Aquarius, for love and romance is Libra. Eclipse in Libra. 
rebalance. So it could be that for, you know, love and romance, maybe Libra is your person, but it could also be maybe a special moment will happen when the moon is in Libra, or it could be a Libra introduces you to the love of your life. And the next card will be about career and finance. Let's see what astrological sign comes up for that. And we have Pisces, moon in Pisces. Wonder. So it could be for some of you when the moon is in Pisces this month, maybe a, a, a situation will happen for your finance or your career, or it could be a Pisces person is involved in, uh, maybe it's your boss, your new boss or something like that, or business partner. <laughs> So that is your reading, Aquarius. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.